Hi there, this is a piece of audio content that is only available in full over at patreon.com slash elwoodcitylimits. We wanted to give you a little bit of a preview to show you what you might be missing out on. You can join us for as little as $1 under the pay what you want model at patreon.com slash elwoodcitylimits and get access to over dozens of hours of content, including every episode of For the Kids, a PBS Kids podcast. We appreciate you listening, whether you're a patron or whether you're listening on the free feed. You're under no obligation to join, and thank you very much for checking out this preview. But if you'd like to know what these episodes and extra content sounds like, here's a little bit of a sneak peek. Yeah, it was it was very unexpected. Um, the the so the, like there were two things that happened. The one was um, there were many people. Well, not many, but there were people who thought because of the timing that I must be affiliated with the show in some way, that right. maybe this was a calculated marketing push, that Finding right. DW was the vehicle for delivering the message finally to the world. Yes. Um, which wasn't the case, which was very funny for me and strange for me to sort of uh, be the, the person receiving all of that. Because, um, you know, I remember I put out the episode and I just started my Twitter account and right. um, I got like, a couple messages like oh my god how did you get the news oh wow i didn't know this like it's confirmed mm -hmm. and i and it was just it was funny like it, it was like three or four tweets in a row very quickly and it just made me realize like huh like i wonder if this was like i guess maybe people didn't know like that's interesting but i sort of had a funny feeling about it and it was like the next day i woke up to like the explosion of like people reaching out to me trying to find out the news is broken it's in every news article and i'm just sitting there in my apartment like twiddling my thumbs like just reading like my name in in publication after publication of these things these publications that i respect and that i consume people messaging me like oh your name is in the new york times like that was like insane you know <laughs> I am not a famous person. I'm just a guy in my apartment. And so I'm, you know, doing my, 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 you know, my the jobs that I do to pay my bills and like mm -hmm. trying to hold back tears of just joy and confusion <laughs> while I'm watching this happen. Uh, so it was definitely a weird time. Um, so yeah, it was on the one hand, people thought that I was attached to the, th to, to the announcement or to the show. And then it was just that, that, all that attention happened as well, which was just great because obviously, you know, I'm putting out a show, I want people to enjoy it. So it was really nice to have that kind of organic push, but it was definitely just like a lucky kind of strange, almost kind of like a fate moment, you know, like I, mm -hmm. I just happened to put out my podcast when I did and it just kind of lined up with all that. I think I'm, I'm, I, we talked a little bit earlier about how, you know, a lot of feelings came up to the surface, and I'm sure that you probably saw a lot of that from people being, you know, the shock of like, what, it's ending? Like, yeah, and, and wanting that more information. So I also think you're in a very good position because there's there's me who um, talks about Arthur on a weekly basis. Yeah. And like has known this has been coming for years and it's like it doesn't mean it's over. Da, da, da. And then you have the people who are writing the articles or just tweeting about like, I can't believe Arthur's over. Like my childhood is over and just like, you know, haven't watched Arthur in 20 years or whatever. Right. These real art, these real Arthur casuals here. Whereas, <laughs> whereas you have not only been, you know, your, your recent uh, activity has involved, you know, deep, deeper study of Arthur. You've literally worked on the show, but you're also, you know, you have a full life outside of that. And you were entrenched in finding DW for a long time, and now you're exploring other opportunities as well. So you're almost you're almost in this happy medium. And I'm wondering, as people are sharing their thoughts about the end, the end of Arthur, and you know, end of Arthur the TV show, did any feelings kind of come up either as you did that interview or as you've seen people's reactions to the ending of the television show? To which interview uh, are you referring to? The one or that... excuse me, the the interview in Finding DW. So once you got the reactions from people, like the oh, shock okay. and the like, yeah. So did did any have any feelings? Let's say in the last year since, uh, come up to the surface of like w how you feel about Arthur the television show ending. Um, it's a, it's an interesting question. Um, 
Okay, that's going to do it for now, but we will see you next time on Elwood City Limits or at patreon.com slash Elwood City Limits if you decide to join us. Thank you very much, and have a great week.